Hello again. Today I would like to answer the question whether two adjacent missing anterior teeth could be replaced by resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis, so resin bonded bridges, if the adjacent teeth are healthy, so are sound. And the answer is easy yes, resin bonded fixed dental prosthesis can be used to replace two missing adjacent anterior teeth but they need a special design. And you see on these two um, cases, I picture here on the left side, replacing um, two central incisors with two single retainer resin bonded bridges. And on the right side, you see um, two resin bonded bridges uh, replacing a canine and a lateral incisor. And they both are designed so that the proximal contact surfaces between the pontics have a huge contact zone and also contain an interlock. So they are designed so that there is a certain um, flexibility, so mobility between the two pontics, but the interlock prevents that they move apart or rotate against each other. That is the important key issue uh, to be successful with these resin bonded bridges replacing two adjacent teeth. And why do I, we not splint the two resin bonded bridges? So using a two retainer resin bonded bridge. That is easy because if you use a splinted uh, two retainer resin bonded bridge, we would have a lot of stress when the patient is chewing on one side or the other side because then the two um, abutment teeth would be loaded differentially and so there would be a lot of stress within the uh, looting gap of our resin bonded bridge. And so splinting uh, it, um, these two restorations is not a good idea, leaving them a little bit uh, separated, having a certain flexibility is much better. There's another advantage of non-splinting, not splinting. Uh, and this advantage is that in case uh, due to a trauma or high stress, if one retainer wing uh, comes loose, so gets off, it's easy to just rebond this one debonded resin bonded bridge. While if you have a splinted two retainer resin bonded bridge and one uh, retainer wing debonds, then you have really a big problem. How could you fix it? Trying to get off this bridge is very hard and it's also uh, maybe have the risk to damage the um, tooth to which this bridge is still attached and uh, leaving it in this way would be also a good idea. So um, it might be then that uh, on one side debonded, splinted resin bonded bridge uh, has to be destroyed to remove it completely. And that does not happen if you have uh, two resin bonded uh, bridges which are not splinted and they uh, have also, as I mentioned, less stre stress on the looting um, gap. Um, and so that is obviously much favorable. We have using this design over the last 18 years in a number of cases and all of them are successful. The longest case is now in place over 18 years. It's a case uh, where we replaced two incisors in the mandible um, and the patient was an elderly patient, has these two restorations, even the abutment teeth had a certain mobility now for eight, over 18 years, so that proves that this concept is really working. I wish you happy Easter and uh, see you next time. Bye now.